Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy Prism with G-Force, man. I just want to get in to just encourage you as Thanksgiving is approaching. I just want to say, you know, happy Thanksgiving to you, your fam. I hope everybody is just, you know, getting everything together. You know, don't let don't let COVID so much stop you from really enjoying the, the, this time and season. I love when we get to the holiday season. I, I, I'm a big fan. I love this. Every, it, everything for me just kind of slows down and and I get a chance to just really enjoy this this time and this season. I want you to understand the power behind the faith in Jesus. The power behind what happened to us whenever we came into this place in Christ. And then for all of my, you know, brothers and sisters across the world that you watch and you stumble across this video and you may not be a follower of Christ at this moment. And and I and I just want you guys to know that that you know really and truly God is not trying to um the Bible Christianity God is not trying to mess your life up. You know, so many people have a misconception about Christianity. It's not here to mess your life up. Now, sometimes we as Christians can get the wrong perspective about something and we'll take things way out of context. But I'm just talking about in general, so many people think that Christianity is about what I can't do. Man, I'm going to tell you like this here. What really happens in, in whenever you truly come to know God and come to know Jesus and he come inside of you, what's supposed to happen, let me encourage you. I, I want you to discover being the best you that you've ever been. That's what happened for me. Okay. Christianity helped me to discover me, the real me. Okay, so 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 many times, you know, we think living is whenever I can just do whatever I want to do. And you know what? God will let you do whatever it is you want to do. Okay, he'll let you do whatever you want to do. Now, when you really talk to yourself, you know that truly, if the world was built off of everybody doing whatever they wanted to do, that sounds like a confused mess. But what God, what the relationship of God do for us is help you to discover the real you. You did not make yourself. Your mama and daddy was used in the creation process, but they truly didn't make you. Because they be spending time raising you, trying to figure you out. Okay? And so, so I... Yes, I have many titles that I wear. I wear, you know, I, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a pastor, I'm a teacher, I'm a, I'm a coach, I'm a, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm, I'm, I got all these different hats, right? A business owner. But I'm going to tell you like this here. None of those titles really define the true you, okay? Becoming a son and a child of God is where the true identity popped open and, and, and opened up. And then guess what I started doing? I literally told God this, right? So if you want to take your life to the next level for this Thanksgiving season, you want to be thankful, be thankful that God gave you another chance to be alive, to take your life to another level. That's a, that's a good place to be thankful for in this season. Okay, now if you really want to take your life to the next level. You really want to go and expand to the next level. I'm going to tell you how simple it is, right? It's about discovering you. You got to take a look at you. Every area of your life that you ain't really been all that God created you to be. Pick one or two of those areas and say, God, you know what? I'm going to grow in this area. Now, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys some real talk right here. Some real, real life, real life, right? When I first became a follower of Jesus, I knew that I was running from God. I knew that I was trying to, to hit it big, trying to, you know, hit it in that gangster rap, you know, arena and trying to be, you know, famous and trying to be all kind of stuff, right? Just so confused though. So confused. I'm, I'm, I'm wasting time hurting folks, hurting my children, hurting everybody, but thinking I'm living, all right? And so uh, I'm going to tell you what I ended up doing. After running from God and running from God, knowing I was running from God, knowing I was running from God, 
And finally, God pursued me so many different ways through the love that he was bringing me from other people. And finally, when I surrendered, I told God this. So you know what, Father? I'm done running from you. And I want a new life, a new mind, a new heart. And everything that I've learned so far, and I don't care who taught it to me, I'm starting my life over from scratch. And I'm going to open up the Bible and I'm going to read it. And I'm going to live what your word is saying. I was a young man. And I had that talk with God standing on the street corner in Baton Rouge. I was on the corner of Sherwood Forest and the Old Hammond Highway. That was where I got saved. I got saved. I ain't get saved in church. I got saved on the street corner. This woman that knew Jesus poured over full of the Holy Ghost and told me my life. You want to see some people get saved? Ask God to use you in the prophetic. Ask God to use you through the power of the Holy Ghost. When a person... When you walk up and tell a person they life because the Holy Spirit give you a word of wisdom or a word of knowledge, hmm, I'm telling you like this. You want to wake somebody up? No, you can wake them up. That's why I pray to God. I pray. I pray to God to be used by the Holy Ghost. I pray to God. I pray to God that you that's watching this, man, that that the Holy Spirit, let's, let's, as, a, as a body of Christ, we got a hunger and thirst for the Holy Spirit, right? Because that's... That's how I got, you know, cornered. Because I knew that this wasn't no man-made nothing. I knew that this was God pursuing me. And I was running from him. On, I, I knew I was running from him. And that word came. Little bitty old white lady came over there. I've never seen it another day in my life. Brought that word to me. And whenever I left there and I opened up the Bible, I just started reading and doing it. Trying to please God the best I could. If you really want to take your life to another level, see, this is not about making a lot of money. This ain't about, um, you know, being famous. This is about you discovering who you was created to be and being elevated. I have challenged myself so much more than I've ever challenged myself. I've challenged myself to unlock everything God has placed inside of me, to take me to a whole nother level in my obedience to God, my trust to God, my, my, uh, my use of every gift that he has placed inside of me. And I want that for you. So I want you to really connect. Now, if you watching this video and you was like I was running from God, you ran into the right place, right? You ran to the right place. This video, I pray for every video that I make that I that I connect with either. one person's heart. You know, you might be that one person that man. If you're already in Christ, nah, man, it's it's more than just getting saved. Man, the Word of God says, "Beloved, I wish above all that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper." God wants every part of our life amazing. And it doesn't matter what we face. You know, any suffering on this earth, we still, you know, have a God that he keeps us through it, right? He brings us through it. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm going to fear no evil. Why? Because you're with me. And so I want you to take your life to the next level. I want you to be thankful in this season that you're alive, right? Because if you're alive, you got opportunity. And you may be sitting here watching this video and you might even be contemplating taking your life. That spirit of suicide is a demonic spirit. That is a spirit. That is not God talking to you. That's Satan. That thought right there of taking your life, that your life ain't worth living, that is straight from hell. Why? Because the enemy comes to try to steal, kill, and destroy your life. But Jesus says, I've come that you may have life. 
and life more abundantly. See, God don't want you to just barely get by. So I don't want you to get that thought. I want you to get your mind. I'm talking to somebody that's watching this video and you was contemplating taking your life. That you, that you take this life that you was just about to turn and take your own life. Now you go turn the other way and take it to a whole nother level. You go take in God, in Christ, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Just repent right now and ask God to give you another chance. And if you got breath in your body, if you're able to breathe in, you have another opportunity today to make Thanksgiving 2020. I don't care about no Corona. I don't care about no wearing a mask. I don't care about none of that. None of that has, it ain't no bad day. It ain't no bad year. When the Bible says today is the day that the Lord has made, I shall rejoice. If he made it, it's worth rejoicing. And I want you to understand that the very reason why Jesus Christ died, he died to take away your sin, to cleanse you and give you hope again, to give you a new life, a new beginning. He came out the grave to let you and me know that I died for you to show you that there's hope after, that you, this is not the end. So guess what? The, the very moment that you was contemplating taking your life, I want you to repent of that and ask God to forgive you. And I want you to take off. I want you to say, God, I want to experience your living word inside of me. Don't open up the Bible to read the Bible just to read it. Open up the Bible and say, God, I want to live what you say. My life has never been the same. The only day I've had in all of these years 24 years of serving God. The only uh, time I've had regret is the time I didn't do what that word said. Anytime I disobeyed what that said was the only time in 24 years that I've ever had regret. I'm talking about I discovered myself, my life, where I could lay down in peace. And the only time I did not lay down in peace it was because I was in disobedience. I did something against what that word said. And so then that's where, you know, conviction and, and you know, you destroy your own peace inside. Like, God, forgive me. And so guess what? God is faithful. In Jesus, there's forgiveness. So this year, 2020, I wanted to be a great and amazing rest of the year for you. I don't care about who is, who you know, who is in office. I don't care about any of the negative stuff. Don't let no negative thoughts come into your head. I want you to think about God if you're giving me an opportunity to, to breathe. If I got breath in my body, I will not be average. I'm taking my life to another level. I am taking my life to another level. No, you're not going to take your life. You're going to live your life to the fullest. That's what I want to see for you. That's what I want for you. I want you to experience living life on a whole nother level. It's your boy Prism, man, with G-Force. I want you to know that, man. Happy Thanksgiving. I pray that this Thanksgiving be more than just, you know, a meal. I pray that this will be a year to, you know, a, a Thanksgiving for you and your family to come together and love and joy. And I just pray that you really take me at, at the challenge I just gave you. Take your life to the next level. Take it to the next level. Take it, take it, take it. Do not settle for just being average. Don't settle for just getting by. Christ came that we may have life, life more abundantly. And I can tell you like this here. I want everything that God has planned for me. I want to prosper in every area. And so I just want you to know big love. I'm out. Love you.